Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on installing Jupyter Notebook on Windows at Simply Learn. So guys, in this tutorial, we are going to guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Jupyter Notebook on a Windows operating system. So guys, if you are going to watch this video, then this is going to help you to get a Jupyter Notebook up and running very smoothly. By the end of this tutorial, you will be ready to create your first Jupyter Notebook and start exploring its powerful features. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Now, before we move on, just a quick info, guys. Simply Learn has got Caltech postgraduate program in AI and machine learning in collaboration with Caltech University and IBM. This AI course is going to cover the latest tools and technologies from the AI ecosystems and features the masterclasses by Caltech instructors and IBM experts. So hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let's get started. But before we move on, let's understand first what is Jupyter Notebook. So guys, as you can see all over here, that Jupyter Notebook is a popular open source tool that basically allows you to create and share documents which contains codes, equations, we can have visualizations also. Basically, it is used for data analysis, machine learning, and scientific research, which makes it a very essential tool for developers like data scientists and researchers alike. Now, before installing Jupyter Notebook, I request you that you have Python installed in your system. So the requirement should be Python 3.6 or greater. So now let us officially navigate to the Python's website. So guys, as you can see all over here, so on python.org, if I click on download Python, so we're gonna see that all over here, download Python 3.125. So as I already told you that the requirement of Python should be greater than 3.6. So just you can click all over here and you can see the download had started. So guys, as you can see all over here that we have installed the Python. Now let us open the file. So you can see, the given software is going to install on this directory. Okay, so just click all over here. So guys, as you can see all over here, the Python installation of 3.125 is in progress. Let's wait for some time till it gets installed. So as you can see guys all over here that we have successfully installed our Python. Now let us open our terminal and let us check whether Python is correctly installed. So we are going to type Python slash version. So as you can see all over here, we have successfully installed our Python. So guys, that was our prerequisite. Now, there are two ways to install Jupyter Notebook. The first one can be pip, okay? Pip is a package manager or using Anaconda distribution. So let us see with pip first. So guys, pip is a package manager which is used to install and manage software packages, libraries written in Python. So you can see all over here that the Python with version greater than 3.6 have default pip installed in them. Okay, so we can use pip command to install our Jupyter Notebook. So guys, as you can see all over here, we have come to the official documentation of jupyter.org and it is saying that installing Jupyter Lab with pip command. So what you can do guys, you can just copy all over here. You can go right all over here and click on this. Now, as you can see all over here, it has started downloading the Jupyter Lab. So guys, we are going to install our Jupyter Lab with the pip command. So this is the official documentation of Jupyter Notebook. Okay. And just all you have to do is copy this and type on your terminal. So as you can see all over here, it has started downloading the packages, which is required to download the Jupyter Notebook. Let us wait for some time. Okay guys, so we have successfully completed this step. Now let us move on to our next step. So as you can see all over here, so we have installed, okay. Then what we have to do, then you can type this, you can launch the Jupyter Lab, 
with this command on the terminal. Now let us wait. So as you can see all over here guys, we have successfully installed our Jupyter Notebook. So you can go all over here and just create a new notebook and you can also choose your kernel and you can start working on your Jupyter Notebook. Suppose I'll show you one snippet. So 3 plus 5, let us try to run this notebook. So as you can see, it is giving us the 8 as answer. So it is following the Python syntax and in this way, we have successfully installed our Jupyter Notebook using the pip command. So now, as you can also see all over here, you can also install Jupyter Notebook with this command, pip install notebook, and then you can just open it. This is also an another alternative. Similarly, you can install with Viola also. Same command and just open the Viola. Now, if you are using any other operating system like macOS or Linux, then you can install by brew install JupyterLab. So Homebrew will be the package manager for Mac OS and Linux. So I hope so. You are pretty clear with how to install Jupyter Notebook with the pep command. Now, I have downloaded Anacondas from this official website. So as you can see all over here, this is the official website of Anaconda. Okay. Now just type your email and you can just download it. So similarly, as you can see, after installing, I'm going to launch my installer and let us click next. Okay. Let us click agree. Okay. And let us install this on the given directory. Let us wait for some time till the installation gets complete. So guys, as you can see all over here, we have completed our installation of Anaconda. So just click on finish and you can say we have successfully installed our Anaconda. Now let us open our Anaconda navigator. So just click on So as you can see all over here, just right click on this and our Anaconda navigator will be opened. So as you can see all over here, this is our Anaconda navigator and it is loading the packages and for us to install the Jupyter notebook. So as you can see all over here, just click on launch. So guys, if you click on launch, it is going to open our Jupyter notebook. So as you can see all over here, it is saying launching the Jupyter notebook and it is hosted on localhost 8889. So this is our hosted Jupyter Notebook. And similarly, you can create a new notebook all over here. And in this way, you can start working. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have got a brief idea regarding how to install Jupyter Notebook using pip command and also through Anaconda Navigator. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.